Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles Hello. and Pinky Boo. You can see a hand in there. There we go. And Squid Gang, get a get a hand in there. Razzle, dazzle. I've been assaulted. No. Uh, okay, not at Christmas. What is this? This metaverse. Not at Christmas. <laughs> not at Christmas, guys. So it is the holiday season, and we're gonna do a box open box opening because you guys have been sending us stuff to the post office box which we really appreciate but we don't check that post office box very much so yeah. we have packages that have been sitting here for literally like six months i'm sure the post office people love us they do they're like oh you're the clownfish people here here's a pile they literally have that, that has happened that has happened they're like oh clownfish people here's another box all right um but thank you very much. Uh, so we thought we'd celebrate the holidays, celebrate Christmas by opening some stuff you sent us. And um, yeah, we just apologize for the delay. So we're gonna we're gonna get to get to commence the opening. Commence, commence the, the opening. opening. It's not commence the jiggling. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try to make sure that we don't get people's addresses because we've done that before. Yeah, we're gonna try to make sure to get everyone. If we miss you, we're sorry. Yeah. There's, there's a so lot. Many. Before we get into it, I wanted to make sure I gave a shout out to Duncan and Blaine who gave me these wonderful pieces of art when I was at uh, the Sci-Fi Valley Con and I haven't got a chance to put them on my video yet, but they brought me these nice pieces of art and I wanted to make sure I shared with you. So this one is from John T. John T. I'm not going to say last names because I don't want to like... No, do don't that. do that. Um, and this one is... Oh, yes! Tobin's Spirit Guide. It says, hopefully this crucial research guide finds you before the movie viewing. Well, we would have, except <laughs> we didn't have time to open packages. But that is cool. This is. This is very cool. Thank you. I uh, definitely so am. Can you it up? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Tobin Spirit. Thank you so much. I like books. Yes, and this one's like all about different things like that. Yeah. Oh, I can see because I'm eyeing it up. Okay. Um, What am I doing now? These? The, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay, this is from Daryl, right? Daryl, yeah, he sends us a lot of stuff. He sends us a bunch of letters and stuff. I can't do everything because there's so many, but I just wanted to know what we got. These are for Pinky Boo, I believe. Disney Princess. Yes. Look at that. I know um, Daryl likes mermaids because he always sends us sends us pictures of mermaids. Yes, he does like mermaids. And there's a card. Save the redheads and gingers. Yes, yes, we do. Oh, there we go. Um, we love you, Geeky Sparkles. Oh, thank you. And then they sent us a little... Oh, I'm gonna, it's going to get a, 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 a taken away by... Pinky Boo, though. Oh, one of these things. These, like, little stress popper. Poppets. Poppers. There's a powerful voice. Um, and then there's some drawer that is sent over. And I'm sure Pinky Boo's going to take a lot of this, too. Um, so let me see. Oh, they're all mixed up. There's a bracelet. Oh, And wow. he said a bunch of pictures and stuff, too, but I don't have that in front of me. There's some different best friend necklaces. This one has, this one has a sea turtle on it. A sea turtle? I love sea turtles. See. Turtles. This one oh, is. Yeah. Oh, and then there's a, an owl. Oh, owls are cool. You like owls. See, he pays attention because you've said you like owls and sea turtles. I know there were some little things he sent in other envelopes before with letters and pictures. I think there's a couple other things he sent for, for Pinky Boo, but you don't have them here. Oh, I don't know if I have them here. But and thank you very much. This one we do. is. That's for you. That's a. Aw. That's... Oh. You got a ginger for Christmas. I love Little Mermaid. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, so I'll make sure that he knows we were getting them. We just have yeah. no time to read them on the She's air. very shiny. Uh, she needs I to like go the, shiny. Yeah, she needs to go in the Disney room. She will go in the Disney room, yes. That's a good, that's a good point. These are yours. Thank you. Well, okay. she's very shiny. I like shiny. All right. So, okay. Oh, sorry, I missed one. Um... What am I doing here? I don't know. That's, That's a big box. Out. Yes. Get okay, the big box one, and bring the big box over. This one is... I'm going to put addresses on it. This is from Andrew K. Make sure the flaps are folded all to. the way down. And here, why don't you guys 
Oh. I'll take the letter out. My job. Guys. Okay, I get to do Oh, something. these are for you. and This is for you, Squeaking and Pinky Boo. Oh. oh. From Young Bounty Girl. <gasps> oh. That was for Target. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. We wouldn't know anything about Ghostbusters collectible figures. That's awesome. I do. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, I'm awesome. just saying because like the giant shelf full of Ghostbusters figures Here. behind yeah. it. Pinky could... wants to see it. She could oh, see that's it. awesome though. Here. That's cool. Isn't it cool? It's the family that busts together. Yeah, I people, like this. people were making fun of the title, but it's a really cool set. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, spoiler. Oh, yeah. Spoiler. I think right now they, they, it's too bad for them. <laughs> This is actually really cool. I knew yeah, about cool. this, and I was like, I'm never going to get one because we, are, we don't have a target. Yeah, nearby. so thank you so yes, much. Thank now you. we can be the family that busts together. Pinky which, says thank saying you. Saying it on the internet says immediately She's trying to get a word in edgewise, and no one loves her. This All right. Not. Oh, hold on. This one. Well, you guys need to subscribe to the gaming channel because the kids are on there all the time. You guys oh. don't see enough of the kids. This is from Mr. Milo. Mr. Milo. <laughs> They're mixed short. Let's do pending. Well, it's close. We're going to put this video up for Christmas. Um, so these are some different things that he sent over. Um, we have, these are very cool. Oh, these are cool. Oh, thank you. We got Wind Raider. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you. I didn't know they were making these. Piggy Boo already latched onto some things. Okay, go ahead. Oh my God, Princess Mononoke. Thunder. Can you get Thunder. up closer, honey? I'll yes. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, Pinky was very excited about that and one. Here's another good one. Yeah, she loves Atlantis. I know Mr. Milo obviously loves Atlantis. Thank you. Wow, you didn't have to go to all and the Here's trouble. one you're going to like. This is one of my favorite. Yeah, I love that one. I oh. really had a DVD version of it. I didn't know they did either. This is actually, if you guys have not seen this documentary, this is like one of the best documentaries ever made. It's really, really it's good. It's really, guys. really good. And, um, yeah. And awesome. here's everyone's awesome. favorite Green Man and God that Man. That was cool. As soon as you Green saw Green Man though, and God Man. You know, but read the back. As soon as you saw it, his face lit up. Look He's like, that. what? Comic Sans. From the weird world of Japanese sci fi comes the TV superheroes Green Man and God Man. Both fly and grow in size to battle a variety of monsters. Just add you water. You were excited when you saw it. You, From you PR Suits. Like... That's, that's actually. Is he... Looks like I can't a firefighter. Believe we have on DVD things that get high and get bigger. <laughs> Come on, this is a family channel. Is it though? Learn to dance like a princess. This is for me, right? Yes, because you, you like to prance. I do like to prance. My new parent trusted them. <laughs> well, no, he does. He he get pressing. That was dad took over. Oh, Disney princess, princess stickers. Oh, and then I this think these are for oh, Pinky. Boo. This one, okay. This one, Squid King is going to oh, really like. Oh, look, look, it's a, it's Life magazine, so, but it's, put it in there. it's about Godzilla. Oh my God. I can go with the rest of our magazines. Yeah, we do. We've actually got some like vintage magazines that we've been, that's just awesome. I, how long ago was this? I don't know, but it's cool. Well, it can't oh, be that long ago. No, because it's got Godzilla, Godzilla versus Kong. Kong. That's awesome though. I didn't know they still printed Life magazine. I didn't know they had either. Was it like a special edition or something? Yeah, it must have been for the movie. Okay, awesome. so let's put these back in here. Oh, can you here? Can you put those back in? I'm box stuffer. <laughs> There's probably a joke in there, but you're gonna. Be I'm there. not gonna find it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go find it. <laughs> oh my! This is what I want to make sure I'm just pleased with here. your language. Okay. So. All right. What do we get? Oh, this is also Mr. Mahal? No, I don't know. This is from... I don't, I'm looking. I don't know who it's from. Yes, yes, Mr. Mahal. Okay. Awesome. We've got a bag of... Stuff. Stuff. Okay. Oh, little Transformers. And we've got... Is that Star Wars? Yeah. Oh, hey, there's some cool stuff in here. Wow. I have to go through this. You would know before I would. Awesome. I like little robots. Little robots are fun. Awesome, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Oh, what do we got? Okay, so here. Just, uh, there is stuff for people here. It is uh, Neon and a bunch of old robot toys that have been collecting over the years. Um, I thought you and Squid King might enjoy them. We probably will. Yeah. 
Okay. And I then there's the there's the Barbie stuff. Ginger Barbie. Yes, Thank you, Boo. Barbie. Look, it's this Ginger Barbie. Actually, my mother. Jarby. Jarby. Okay, my mother Jimmy. would love that. Oh. It's a very my mom thing. I like it too. It's something that my mom would like. Very retro. And then inside. Oh my God! It's full of. I think. Oh my God! Single. I think those are for you. There's, oh, oh my gosh, there's a bunch in here. Or they, they swipe them from your school. Look at that, now I can refresh the collection. <laughs> they do, actually. They do. Okay, can you awesome, get, thank you. You can't get the, uh, can't get the lid. Over. Get the lid, there you go. Okay, so I put this away. I don't want them to have an accident here. You're about to. Oh, oh I tried. Oh. But they're okay, everything's okay. This one is from... Phil S. Phil S or Phil, Phil S. Phil S. Yeah, here. Uh, I have a long time viewer of your YouTube channel for the last two years. I want to send you Neon, Geeky Sparkles, Triscuits, Cooking, and Pinky Boo some gifts to show my appreciation for your honesty, compassion for fandom, and the laughter and fun that your videos bring everyone, including myself. Your family reminds me so much of my own family with your humor and support for each other. Good. Because I'm having mild Asperger's syndrome and being an introvert who likes to keep my information private, I feel very uncomfortable with creating a social media account. Cannot blame you. So I thought I'd send these gifts in place of YouTube subscription to show my support. Lifelong Disney fan has been very unhappy with the company's company's foolish, spiteful, and arrogant decisions of late. Uh, these days, most of the money that would go to Disney now goes to Warhammer. They treat their <laughs> fans better. Um, I get most of the Disney news from you, Neon, and Geeky on Clubhouse TV and Geeky's PNP blog because I enjoy your honesty, objective news without the horror taste of pixie dust. Anyway, I wish you the best to keep being yourself and continue doing what you do best. As the novice say, I said, Siva, Siva Ko, rise to the challenge. Is that how you say it? I don't. Yeah, I don't it's remember. A passage. Oh, I know. I just, I don't pay attention. I'm too excited to ride dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. and, and and actually right now or he might have he, he might be down there or just got back from disney oh okay so we'll awesome because well, we didn't get we didn't get a chance oh my god this oh my god a book of things i like <laughs> there we go dark crystal bestiary that's awesome oh oh so there's a oh Aren't wow wife oh my god this is a classic this is like animators swear button Oh, wow. Squeaky's eyes have glazed over at this point. Here, I'm just going to hand it to him. Yay. Uh, oh, wow. This is like, yeah, this is like the uh, 2D animator's Bible right here. Something yeah. that needs to come back. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, oh, my gosh. There's more in here. There's more in here? Um, there's more in here. Here's a Dark Crystal uh, Mythos. Oh, the Creation Myths. Which, ironically, I can say because we didn't buy it. We almost bought this for Squid King for <laughs> Christmas, and we didn't do it. And and it's probably a good thing we didn't, because yeah. we almost bought it for him. Now, these are actually really good. The that arcade for us. Bad. Yeah, but no, it's awesome, because um, that's sort of the origin. And they pulled a lot from the comics for the Netflix series. Okay, well, it's mine now. Where is this one? Warhammer. Oh, I'm looking here. It's like a complete box set of Warhammer. Oh my god. Oh, holy crap. Hold on. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, wait. I'm going to try to get it out. I'm not very good at this. Thank you, Pinky Boo. She's assisting. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, we got to do more table talk games. We do. We talk about it. There's Warhammer and then, um, oh, there's Tools. some blue in case I could have used this. So much, you have no idea. The other day, long story. This is the good stuff. Yeah, this is if your little your little plastic men break. Mm. This is how you, you put them back together. Drugs. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, These drugs. Are cool. Oh my oh, god. Oh, you wanna look at that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is from Mike, which I'm gonna take his name out here so we don't like flash that by accident. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, and this says, Hold on. Hildebrand Brothers. Dear Neon and Kiki, first off, I want to tell you both how much I enjoy your YouTube channel and Pirates and Princesses blog. I know it's an incredible amount of work, and the time you put into it is appreciated, so thank you. I was watching a recent video of you two. This is back in May, so I hope these people have sent you. I remind, remind me of an old book I have that I thought you might appreciate. I literally found this book when I was in eighth grade. Someone left Aww. it behind the last day of school. Ah. 
Um, I really enjoyed reading this book, especially when I read the author's notes where they talk about working on turning the story into a film um, that never materialized. Yeah, the book was happens. written by the brothers of the Brant, whose most yep. famous work is probably the original poster for Star Wars A New Hope, mm -hmm. but also the poster for Secret of Nim and many others. Mm -hmm. The illustrations of the book, color, black and white, are incredible, and I thought you'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my letter being a bit long. It's not. Um, so questions. I was just wondering if you were familiar with this book or the brothers. The brothers, yes. The brothers, yes. Yeah. Yes, very much so. Do you have any insider info what happened to the movie prospect? I didn't even know about it. Um, if I had to guess, I think I mean I'm just I'm just spitballing here, but I know there were a lot of fantasy movies that were made at that time that did not do that well, like animated movies, and it could have something to do with that. I, I don't know. I'd have to look into it. Um, it also kind of looks similar to other projects that by the cover that were out at the same time. They might have been like it overlaps too much. Yeah, they did a lot of Tolkien like calendars and stuff like that too, and that inspired. Some of the look of the movies that eventually got made, but it was always I was always surprised that this book never yeah, caught a little, on. A little indie trilogy, Lord of the Rings, you might have heard yeah. of it. <laughs> but it was a different time. The BC and video games were just making their debut and probably contribute to the lack of success of the book. Well, give it a read and let me know what you think of it. Uh, I always appreciate all you do. Well, it's really you. Mike. It's quicking always finds time to read. I'll have him read it. <laughs> Yeah, right now I'm reading Covert Amish Investigation, which is a real book. And he is really reading it. I am. And how and is it? Atrocious. Really that bad? Oh. Kawaii Adventures of Mochan. My name is Isaac, and I spent the last two years writing and editing self-published book with the help of my friend and artist in the project, Shigo, C-H-I-G-O. I found okay. your content about a year ago, right when I was in the thick of editing. Your commentaries on pop culture and media are an invaluable part perspective, and I would often take the lessons that you advocated to heart, especially concerning what made what made for fun and meaningful stories versus the boring crap that we've seen a million times before. I'm sending this book as a small thank you for the content you've put out for free on YouTube to show how much it means to me to have voices from well-minded people represented in social discourse. There's a lot of crazies, uh, craziness on the internet and all sides. Amen. Amen. And to hear people talk about pop culture and media from does this make sense perspective is wonderfully refreshing. So that I'm selling copies of the book is not my goal. The book is free for anyone to read on my website, which I've listed below. And the website is uh, projectmochan.com. P-R-O-J-E-C-T-M-O-C-H-A-N.com or Mochan. Um, um, okay. For full disclosure, I do the book I want to purchase. If anybody's interested, it's a side gig for me. I'm trying to have fun with it. I just want to share my story. Okay, With all well, that in mind, well, I did get the idea to send a book from one of your P.O. box openings. I am no means expecting this gift to show up in future videos. Well, it did! So there you go. Ta-da! Dun-dun-dun! Make a dramatic sound. And I'd like to thank you again for your content. I've had a tremendous amount of enjoyment from your shows and listening to the videos as part of my daily commute. It is my sincere hope that this letter finds you well and your family are surviving these crazy times. We're trying! Okay, awesome. Well, yeah, go check, go check it out. Go check it out. Okay. It's traveling to another world. We should be familiar with that. Yes, 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 we do that too. All right, I'm going to reach over here. Okay. This one is Chris. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I know what that is. Pinky Boo knows what this is. I can't see a nod. Look at that. The complete original series. Oh, look at, see the, the golden beams coming off of her head? That means she's the chosen one. There's no moon, moon boots either. There's no boots. Boots and genocide. Boots and genocide. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Sounds like a fun punk band name. Boots and genocide. No moon so boots the, and genocide. Oh, moon boots and genocide, right? Just, cause, just playing boots and genocide is it? No, no, no. That's just like a normal dictatorship, but moon oh. boots and gener <laughs> genocide. Also genocide. Oh, from Chris. Genocide. Very cool. Proper He Man. Proper human. <laughs> proper human. Not that crap. Get this Smith shovel in there. Awesome. Thank you. If he's proper, does he hold his pinky out when transforming? He does on Kevin Smith's show. You saw that transformation. Oh, yeah, There's he no does way that he was not girl. holding his pinky out. He literally has a ma magic girl transformation and you see his butt cheeks. While the, oh. the, the furry cloth goes across his butt cheeks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> losing it over here. Yeah, people actually synced up the Sailor Moon transformation with it, ah! and it it works. Oh. Neil's not paying attention. It's causing what? me pain. Sorry, what? Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. I think this is Ryan. I'm trying to see. Oh, my. Okay. okay um. So this is a big one. Uh, oh, 
Hang on. I'm trying to. Okay. First of all, let me see what we got. Big box of bubbles. Oh my god. So Lucasfilm fan club. One of the old ones. This is one of the old ones. Here, I'm gonna pull this back oh so you gosh. put that in your yeah. camera so you're not oh, yeah. okay. catching everybody in your camera. Before the dark times. Wow. And these also came out of there. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is a good one. Doctor Who? Wait, okay, hold on. Okay, now I'm geeking out. Hold on. Let me see what we got here. Oh my gosh. Sam Raphael. That's where they used to be. That wasn't too far from where I lived, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at this lenticular action. I actually was a member of the fan club back in the day. Did you get Bantha tracks? Yes, <gasps> I did. Lenticular action is the only kind of action anyone getting fan club mail is getting. Yub nub. <laughs> but that's the best kind. Yub nub. Yeah. So this is what was in... Oh, there's a Doctor Who fan club too. Hold on. Okay, this is this is how they used to do it back in the day. Like if you wanted to be a fan of something, you didn't go to Twitter and bitch about it. Bitch about it. You actually. Here's a letter from the Doctor Who fan club of America from Denver. I had this once upon a time. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Well, now I you have it again. I we had, it had this. I we did, did have, have it. This. I don't have it anymore. So now I have it again. Oh wow, this is really cool. This is cool because I kind of felt bad that I didn't have it anymore. Yeah, this this book actually was really. I remember we yeah we lost it along the way. So, oh. Um, oh, I did not have this one. Okay. Oh, there's Bantha Tracks, making of Star Wars. This is a classic. Wow. This just kind of makes me sad though because like this is what Lucasfilm used to be, and now every time I think of Lucasfilm, all I can think about is like sadness and Twitter drama. <laughs> but this is what it used to be about, guys. Like this is this is what fandom used to be about. Bantha Bantha tracks. Look at this. I remember this. Look up. Oh 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 oh. We should all say oh 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 oh. 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 Right. Guys, we're struck. We're copyright struck. Oh, uh, we're not copyright struck. There you go. <laughs> Hold on. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, yeah, I love this picture. Oh, you don't have this one. Sure. Okay. Oh, I don't have this one. Thank you. I actually was eyeing him up. Here's the thing. Like, as much as I don't like the Kevin Smith show, I actually like the toys. Except for Taylor. I don't like Taylor. <laughs> but everybody else, everybody else is cool. Thank you. Wow, what is this? Blockbuster video! That's what we're going to open. We're going to open a Blockbuster video. I don't think you can. Sure we can. Does he come with dirty time power down action? <laughs> dirty time Six power plus. down action. Six plus what? Hmm? Six plus what? <laughs> Six plus what? Awesome. Thank you. Is that everything? No, wait. There's no, we've got more. There's some more stuff oh, over there. Okay, hold on. We're talking six months of, like, neglect. Not oh, having man. time. Uh -oh. Apologize. We apologize, that guys. Fell out of it. Uh, I see it. We don't have anybody to sort mail for us, and we don't check that box very often, but we do appreciate it for sure. And just for future reference, if you send us something, it could take us six or eight months to get around to, to opening it, but thank you. All right. Let's get here we go. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay. But wait, there's more. This one says Merry Christmas Neon. Uh oh. Did we take the camera or do you want me to open it for you? I bet it's a butt plug. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Because <laughs> I can. Okay. Merry Christmas Neon. This is the one you asked for. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I... It's close! Oh my god! Oh no! I burnt your eyes, children! I burnt your eyes! A ball gag bear! BSM! <laughs> oh, we had this one of our videos! Yeah, that's the BSM. Squeeze <laughs> my pot through huggables! Shoot my balls out of my mouth! You put balls in his mouth! 
<laughs> Your daughter's like, stop talking. And then the bulls shoot people. You know, she's going to be in therapy. And, you know. <laughs> the bulls shoot people. I already the need therapy. Shoot people. Wait, they have a bull popping you know. bunny, too? Shoots 20 feet. That is impressive. Play safe. Don't shoot. Hey, don't shoot, don't shoot at someone's head or at animals. Don't, don't use other <laughs> balls. Don't use other balls. Don't use other balls. You can only use. That's a loyal bear. Squeeze, balls. popper, huggable, ball bear, ball gag, official bear ball gag balls for bears who like balls in their mouth. Balls. Trademark. Bear. Yes, they are blue, blue balls. balls. <laughs> See, this is what happens. You guys become teenagers, and now it's all dirty, dirty, dirty talk now. Where did you get it from? I was gonna say, where did you learn it? <laughs> Jesus didn't teach you about that. This is Christmas. You need to be more respectful. You're like, the one thinking the God. I need to be more respectful to your your gag bear. Wait, wait, wait. We need to be respectful, and he's the one making all the comments. He's the one stroking its nose. His nose is crooked. Here, oh, now you're him. going to point out his insecurities? No. <laughs> you body shaming that bear? It's okay. He can't complain. His mouth is full. <laughs> Blue balls. That's his name. Blue balls I the bear. I want to go home now. <laughs> so now he can hang out with Bubbly Steve. Blue balls the bear. Oh, I don't want him around Bubbly Steve. <laughs> He's a bad influence. <laughs> hey, look. It's Blue Balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Greetings to everyone at Clown Fish TV. I have been watching you for a couple of years and I really enjoy your content. I do agree with absolutely everything you have to say, oh, but no. your common sense takes help keep me grounded in my current insanity we humorously call pop culture discourse. I wanted to write this letter and share my story, particularly about reading with you for some time. Just so you know, I turned 36 a couple weeks ago and around the same, and we were around the same age. When I was a kid, I read all the time. My favorites included the Antrian book series by uh, Weisler. Um, this, I must have read book to the sea at least 20 times. Animorphs. Animorphs! That was um, nightmare fuel. The Only Way Out by Deborah Kent, The Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell, and many others from the school and public libraries. I never did get into comics, though. Um, the only one I still have is my anti-smoking PSA comic out from Pizza Hut called Blowing Smoke, drawn by Tom Morgan, 94. It's the first time I ever saw Iron comics. Man. And the only time I've seen Firestorm. Anyway, when junior high rolled around, we had to start reading books for assignments, and that turned me off to recreational reading. Yeah, when you have to do it because they make you, it's not yeah, as fun. Yeah, I hate that. My reading slowed down until basically stopped in high school. My hobby of choice is only video games, and that continued until I started reading playing visual novels in 2013. And then he graduated from high school and took another four years until I started reading again seriously. So it goes on here about different books and different things that he recommends. Um... So thanks for having read the letter. Great work and keep safe and stay healthy, Brady. Brady, well, thank you, Brady. Thank you. We don't want to. We don't want to put your address on. So and we, we yeah, and we don't want to go. Ooh. All this talk about uh, books people read when they were younger makes me mad that no one ever talks about Edge Chronicles. Oh yeah, were you were in. Oh yeah, you love those. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, this is from Al. Al. I hope I hope your oh, yay. Oh, wow. I hope your mother is doing better. We heard in the gaming stream that her mom wasn't doing too I good. I hope she is too. I hope your um, mom's doing better. Blue ball bear. Okay. This part says we can we can share. I wish I was able to visit you at Comic Con, but I was already heading near City Comic Con. I got to spend time with Brian Shear. And if you don't know who him, he's a great guy. He's the artist for Transformers and G.I. Joe. Yes, we yes. know who he is. Yes. Anyway, I was walking around the con and I saw this side of classic Master Universe posters. I don't know much about Tom Cook. We've seen Tom Cook. Yeah, we've seen him, yeah. But all the cartoons on his banner were from my childhood. I told him I learned English from Scooby-Doo. I was born here, but my step-grandmother raised me. So the first five years of my life, I mainly spoke Chinese. I picked up enough English from cartoons in Sesame Street to be conversational. I kept two of the posters and decided to give you the She-Ra poster. I hope you like it. I love it. This is awesome. Thank you, Ale. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Tom Cook, we've seen, um, he worked on, like, all these old filmation shows, and he worked on, I think he worked on a lot of Hanna-Barbera stuff, too. So a lot of the, um, that generation of animators, they would go from studio to studio and do the Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> this is cool. Yay! Yay! Okay. All right, I think I got everything done. Is everything you tell me? I think, I think so. Uh, that we if know I, of. If and I forgot guys, something, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, like I said, we're, we've been backlogged and this is like probably six months worth of stuff. Um, we do appreciate it, but just be aware, like, we don't check the post office box that much, so 
Um, it can take a long time <laughs> to get to it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want to wish everybody a happy holiday. Yes, happy new year too. Uh, happy new year. Thank you so much for the support this year, guys. It's been incredible. Also check out our other channel, Clownfish Studios, if you want to see more of the kids. Uh, they're out there gaming all the you time. You guys have to say for your plugs for Clownfish Studios. What Plug. are you guys going to be playing? No idea. More Animal Crossing. Yeah, definitely so Animal Crossing. So much Animal Crossing. Are you going to be doing Pinky Boo any ideas? What was it? Crab game. Crab game. She wants to play crab game. Yeah, she's okay. talking about that. Yeah, she actually talks on that channel. Yeah. Ooh, she, she does. She's very chatty. She's got some pretty vicious one liners. I was listening to those. You're chatty. I can be. Well, because you're playing the game, I'm just commentating. Comment, commentating. Anyway, just put one of those blue balls in my mouth if I talk too much. Oh, oh, that was the face, the face and the noise combined that you just made. Oh, that was, that was the most shut up noise I've ever heard you. <laughs> okay, we're going. Yeah, it's probably a good time. We'll see you later. Bye. Go pop your balls, man. Oh my God. Bye. Get Stop your hand it. in there further. Bye. <laughs>